What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. I'm kind of excited. Today, I was able to finally get one of my first Black Panther film characters of Hot Toys in my collection. And it is Eric Killmonger from the first Black Panther movie. Now, I'm pretty excited to get this guy. I'm not going to lie. I've never had a Black Panther figure in my hands before, so I don't even know what to really expect. So stick around. If you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get into it. Welcome back, everybody. So today I have the Black Panther Killmonger figure in front of me. And I gotta say, this box, I know it sounds silly to say, is super nice. The texturing on the outside, especially, when you first grab it and pull it kind of out of that plastic wrap that it comes in, I gotta say, real nice. Now, it does have this unique pattern on the edge that really truly reminds me of the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda. I know that it's not, obviously, but it definitely kind of reminds me of it, and I am here for it. I also really like the fact that it has the Golden Jaguar head sculpt kind of on the front here. I think that looks really cool. Definitely stands out. It's going to be kind of a showpiece, honestly, in terms of box art in the collection. Now, when I slide this top cover off, you get kind of that whoosh of that Hot Toys feel. Underneath, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so conditioned now for Hot Toys to have like a really kind of fancy artwork picture as kind of this slip cover on top. And just the cast and the crew is kind of like, meh. Like it's not something that I would ever frame, obviously. Whereas some figures I have in my collection, I would honestly consider framing that piece, which is kind of funny. Now I have muted my background because I didn't want you guys to listen to the crunchiness of the clamshell all coming apart. But I wanted to show you guys that this is literally me opening the figure. Like, at this point, I got it. I had to jump on a live stream with the Collecting Weekly Boys. I hadn't even had a chance to look at it yet. And I gotta say, this has that fresh Hot Toys smell. But getting him out of the clamshell, one of my first in-hand impressions is Damn, is this guy a bit of a beefy boy? I've got a lot of male characters in my collection, and not many of them have the stature that Killmonger has here. Now, let's be honest, Michael B. Jordan is not a small dude, and I'm glad that they've captured that. If we were to rate the pancake level, as my buddy at 1-6 scale Marco and Gigi would say, I would give this guy a 6 out of 10 on the butt. Definitely not as packing as he is in the upper chest and the muscle area, but I really like the feel of this guy. I love the feeling of the material. I expected the material to be much more of like a rubber style suit, similar to the classic suit Spider-Man, for example, but it doesn't feel like that in hand. Now, obviously the material doesn't stretch over the helmet. That is still a hard plastic feel to it. I really like some of the raised texturing and I really like that Jaguar patterning that they have kind of in the background of the suit. And you can see it as it kind of shines down the emphasis that's there. Now, these look a little weird to me. They they look kind of like Golden Jaguar sandals. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's a strange inclusion. And I'm noticing here that the material is bunching a little bit at the ankle joint. So that could be a concern potentially over time. It, these are weird though. They definitely look like shoes. Uh, which, I mean, I guess, really, when you think about it, I mean, Black Panther needs to wear shoes too, right? I've just never really noticed it like that. It, has a, a bit of a sandal feel. Now, looking up the body though, there is this writing all over them. And I'm sure that if you put them under like a black light, for example, you would see these even more, but it's not something that I even noticed at first glance. Even some of it is written in black. So you can't see it unless you have shining light directly on it, which I think is a really cool effect. And I do like the yellow or gold patterning. I call it yellow because it is a little brighter than what the film represents. I think that that was a bit of a hot topic when this figure released, especially from proto to final. We did see that the gold on there was definitely painted a little brighter. Now, the other thing I'm noticing is some of the stitch lines on this outfit. 
are not very clean. This one under the left arm is a little gnarly looking. I'm not gonna lie, it blends in okay. The one on the right is a lot better. Do I expect every stitch line to be perfect? No, but it is a pretty pricey product. So I honestly hope that in the future, Hot Toys does get a little bit better than that. Now getting the Michael B. Jordan head sculpt on the figure is when this thing really comes to life for me, I'm not gonna lie. I do like the expression, it's pretty serious, but I don't get that dead eye feel uh, from him as much as other characters that I have in my collection. I really like the way that they've braided the hair on this particular head sculpt, I think that looks really cool. But I would say that one obvious drawback is the way that this neckline looks kind of at the back of the figure. It's a little unsightly and a really clear cut line between the figure body and the head sculpt itself. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it's a little ugly. I'd have to make sure that I'm positioning this guy in a forward position. Now the range of movement on the head is not that great. When it's on the figure with the head sculpt like this, you can turn it left to right pretty easily. You can also tilt the head sculpt up so he's looking upwards, but looking down, you definitely don't get much lower than this. And if that bothers you, uh, just something to note. For me, it just means that I know kind of where on the shelf I might put the figure so that he's not needing to look down all that much when he's got the Eric Killmonger head on. And I did want to show just the mask beside the head sculpt because I wanted to show here that the mask definitely looks like it's something he can wear, which also means when you have the figure displaying the head sculpt of Eric Killmonger holding the Black Panther helmet here, or the Golden Jaguar I should say, it looks really realistic. It definitely looks like this is something he could put over his actual head, which I think is also really cool. Now I do think that the range of movement for the figure is actually pretty decent. You can see that he can't do that Black Panther pose very well with the arms crossed, say he was saluting the king. However, it does pose well at least in the shoulders and the legs. You can get some pretty decent bends in the waist. Uh, the suit is a little bit restrictive though, especially where the elbows pull at the seams, so be careful there for sure. I really like the look of Killmonger holding his helmet. I think that that just really looks like an awesome way to display the figure. It definitely may be the way I display mine on the shelf, that's for sure. But I do also think that the likeness to Michael B. Jordan here in this figure is really well done. When the figure released a few years ago, People said it didn't look like Michael B. Jordan, and I just don't agree with that. The spear that he comes with here is fully plastic. Now, when I pulled it out, I felt actually a little disappointed by it. It kind of feels light and a little on the cheap side. Definitely a lighter plastic. I like that it looks broken, just like the film, though. And that piece at the end does look like a broken piece of wood, which I do appreciate. It's just that this would have been nice to be die cast. I think it would have just amped up the expensiveness feel of the figure. And same with this sword. This feels and looks to me like a hunk of plastic. I really can't see myself displaying the figure with this, which is unfortunate because when I saw some of the promo images of this figure, I thought it looked pretty badass for him to hold both weapons. And I'll show you guys a pose like that in a few minutes. But again, I know it might have cost slightly more to do, but I think die cast weapons would have definitely been the way to go, especially since this guy is relatively light in his accessory offerings. Now another thing I felt kind of surprised about was that he comes with this crotch grabber uh, stand, and I mean he's a pretty dynamic character overall. I recognize that a clamp may be a little worrisome on the outfit over time, but it would have been nice to have more dynamic options with a Black Panther style character. The hands that he come with are pretty cool, they're pretty well painted. I like the claw hands, I think that they're kind of my favorite. If I'm going to do more of a dynamic pose with Killmonger, it's going to be with these hands and probably no weapons. I really like the claws on them and I think, again, that they're well painted. I like the texturing in the palm as well, it kind of matches some of the Killmonger texture on the skin as well as what kind of comes through his outfit, which is also pretty cool inclusion if you look nice and close. Overall, not a bad offering when it comes to these. Now I don't use display stands most of the time in my figure display, so I don't usually use these. I think this looks okay. I like the picture on the top. I like that the shape of the stand will match most people's collection as Hot Toys has given us a lot of hexagonal bases over time, so that's a good 
consistency anyway. And then at the bottom of the box, it comes with this odd cardboard backdrop. I don't usually use these either, to be honest, so it's kind of a meh inclusion for me, but it's cool to a point. I This is something I guess you could cut out and put in a frame. Now I do want to get into some posing. I'm not going to push my guy too aggressively because I want to be careful of the suit. But again, I wanted to show you guys what he looks like with weapons in hand. I think this looks pretty badass. Despite my criticisms regarding the weapons not being die cast, once they're in hand with the figure behind the camera lens, or even honestly just in my display, I'm loving this. And with a bit of a change in the lighting, I like the way that the eyes on this mask glow like that. I think that looks really stinking cool. And it also just really goes to show you how lighting can change the look of a figure in your display. It seems obvious, but I always recommend to try different lighting for your figures if it's just not working out for you. Now this is a bit of my twisted imagination. You know, what if somebody else got the Golden Jaguar suit and fought Michael B. Jordan for it? <laughs> a little freaky, but I kind of dig it. Now this figure has kind of weak ankles. I'm not... Yeah, weak ankles. I've had a really difficult time keeping this guy standing on his own terms, which is a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie, but I would say overall, this is one of my favorite figures in my collection. This is now my 21st Hot Toy. Now I know for some of you, that's not a lot. Some of you guys have hundreds in your collection, but for me, I have to budget wisely. I am excited for the new Chadwick Boseman figure that's coming. I'm gonna get that 100%. I also think that the new female Black Panther would look amazing paired with Killmonger. And I'm now also tempted to look for the Wakanda throne. I did see it on T-dubs. I'm a little nervous to order again from them, <laughs> so I may avoid it, but at the same time, Killmonger or T'Challa in the throne would look fantastic in a display with the Black Panthers. And I'm excited to see what else comes from the film. I'm hoping for a Namor from the newest film. Obviously this is from the first film, but this is what the guy looks like in my display. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. But if you liked the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure unboxing video. I'm going to go admire the collection. Have a great night, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.